which is a device for measuring the concentration of chlorophyll in the leaf. What we have is a, uh, a light, light sensors uh, in, in the bottom of the device and light is emitted from, from the top of the, the device. And the device uh, measures the, the ratio of the, the transmission of, of light at, at 680 nanometers wavelength. That, that's it, that's in, in the red wavelength and, and in the far red at 900 nanometers. So if we, if we, if we uh, take, take an example, so first of all we switch on the device and we, we, we just hold, hold it closed for several seconds so it can calibrate. Now it's ready, ready to take a measurement, take, take a leaf. Hold it down for a second, and then we've got a reading of uh, 51.8. And generally, the, the, the readings should be between about 40 and, and 70 uh, SPAD units. The higher the reading, the, the higher the chlorophyll concentration. And th this uh, instrument also tells us about the nitrogen concentration within the leaf because there's a, a high correlation between the the chlorophyll concentration and, and, and the nitrogen concentration. So the, the, the leaf, the chlorophyll in the leaf is absorbing light at the 680 nanometers wavelength in, in, in the red band and it's not absorbing light in, in the uh, higher wavelength, the infrared wavelength at 900 nanometers. That's why the ratio of the transmission of the light through, through the leaf at those two wavelengths tells us about the amount of chlorophyll uh, in, in, in inside the leaf. Normally we take uh, up to sort of five readings uh, per, per, per plot and, and uh, it depends but sometimes you'll find that there's a gradient of uh, chlorophyll within the leaf so if, it can be useful to take three, three readings uh, per, per leaf. At the, at the bottom of the leaf Middle and in, in, the, in the distal position as well. So, what you're measuring on that is actually very useful. And then the, we can take an, an average. Uh, so, if we want to average all the readings that we've taken, we've got a button here which allows us to take the average, and then we can we can scan through the, uh, the respective readings that we've taken if we want to check, check, check the individual individual readings. So that's uh, the, 